Hey, Gemini's. I'm back out with another video. So, this is going to be just general energy, okay? So, this could be going on right now. This could have already happened, or this could be coming in the near future. All right, so take what applies. What doesn't apply, just let it fly, all right? So, we're going to get some general messages here. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to get some general messages here, and then we'll do, uh, we'll put the tarot. All right, so the first card that jumped, guys, we got bounce, all right? So it looks like this is somebody leaving a situation or person. It's time to leave it all behind, leaving fast, wrapping it up. It looks like somebody got gassed. Um, during a text message, like somebody that you've been communicating with via text message, they gassed and gassed and gassed you up and then they might have bounced or this is vice versa. You could have done this to someone else, but I'm getting somebody gas somebody up like, yeah, yeah, through text message. But then, you know, it ended up coming around and ended up leaving. What else? Give me some more energy for Gemini. It's like something wasn't what you thought it was going to be. So maybe you guys decided to like leave. Tell me what else. We got digital detox. All right. This is possibly from social media. Some of y'all may have been MIA off of social media since this occurred. Like maybe you were feeling like pressured to be there or you feel like it's pressure to be on social media. Um... So you make the decision to kind of do a digital detox. Okay. Oh, but we got you coming in like a savage. Okay. We got savage right here. Ruthless. Getting what you want. Don't give a F. Don't hold back. Tough skin. Confident. Badass. All right. So it looks like during this digital detox, you are claiming back your power. Okay. And you possibly put somebody on the bench, okay? You bench this person. Whoever this is, you walked away from, they bounced, or you bounced. Whoever bounced is putting somebody on hold, okay? So it's like, yeah. And you did it in the most, I feel like this is you. I feel like you did it in the most savage way. Like you, you not even responding to nothing, no messages on social media, no slick shots that people be throwing on social media. It's like, nah. You gon' you yeah you you ain't even finna see me. I ain't even finna let you see me. Tell me what else. This is proper energy. <laughs> Tell me what else. I'm just loving this energy from Gemini. Tell me what else. Yeah, see somebody been gassing somebody, but really this person was struggling. Okay, this person really was gassed up a situation gassed it up made it seem like it was all this and all that on the text message but when you got around there you found out that this person really ain't really it wasn't what it what it was giving <laughs> it really wasn't what it was giving all right so some of y'all have been in the gym or y'all just working on y'all appearance your body your physical attraction maybe some of y'all been getting a lot of a lot of compliments, a lot of yes, thumbs up, hearts and stuff. You know, some of y'all been working on y'all body in the gym. Okay, so now we got mood. Okay, so now you in the mood to clap back. <laughs> All right, so it looks like what it definitely looks like to me. You bounce from a situation. You know, you. it wasn't what it was giving. So you decide maybe it was something that was going back and forth on social media about. So you decided to detox from social media and work on yourself, okay? You come back this bossed up, bad ass motherfucker, right? And you've been working out, you've been going eating right, you've been going to the gym, you've been doing whatever makes you feel physically attractive. And you come back this beast like it wasn't giving but it's all good because wait till you see this clap back now it's like you in the mood to clap back you're in the mood 
to clap back. Like the clap back gonna be real. Okay, that's definitely what I'm getting. <laughs> okay, so let's jump into the tarot. Gemini, please. Gemini. Okay, we got this jumped out. We got the hanging man. All right, so it looks like uh, something maybe either being put on hold. Some of y'all are, you know, kind of in your hermit mode energy. You kind of possibly stand to yourself until you get an apology. Yeah, I feel like you pissed off about something. And until you get an apology, it's like it's on hold. Lots of waiting energy. Lots of waiting energy. You're waiting to see if this person is going to come towards you first. Maybe because they are the ones that walked away or you walked away from them. But the outcome is the Eight of Cups. So I see a lot of weight in here. Maybe feeling like the connection wasn't worth it. It was a risk. Maybe you felt like this was a huge risk. Um, this was like a lesson type of learn type of energy. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Nine of Pentacles. Some of y'all... Didn't want to be single. Some of y'all settled in a situation that you know you could have did better. Why is the two of cups here? Two of wands. Knight of cups. You, you're you wanting to see. You wanted to see. You was waiting to see where this was going to go. But I feel like a lot of y'all felt like it was just a waste of time. Why is the two of wands here? Eight of pentacles. Yeah, you wanted to see where this was going to go. The situation really was stressful. You really was starting to feel, have anxiety or feel stressed out. We got the queen of cups here. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this situation could have made you really emotional. You know, show your emotional side. That you may not really like to put out in the forefront. You know, feeling vulnerable. Tell me why the hangman is here. Seven of Swords. The Emperor. For some of you, this could be a baby father or a husband or somebody who's older than you. I feel like you just was waiting for this person to, like, step up, and they just didn't. Why the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, the stress card. Some of you guys could have been a Leo. But I see you, like, you know, wanting to see, the get the best out of this person. And this person just was, like, not on your level. You also waiting for them to have the confidence to tell you the truth about something that they could have possibly was very dishonest with you about. You want this person to open up to you. You was waiting for this person to open up to you. It looks like somebody was, uh, this person could have been real codependent. Could have been an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this person could have been dependent, codependent on you, possibly financially. I'm picking up heavy Capricorn energy here with the devil card here as well. You knew the situation was toxic. 
you knew the situation was toxic. Like, but I feel like it was fun. It was something to do with the sun card here. Like, it was just something to do. Like, it was just giving you something to pass time by. I don't really think this was something that you really took extremely serious, but you kind of wanted to see where it was going to go. Now, now you're feeling like, you know, maybe I took a risk. Maybe, you know, it was too risky. This person over here is thinking that they're feeling like maybe there was a disagreement or possibly about another a third party being involved. That this person keeps going back and forth between. This person could be seeing someone else. Um, here as well, we got the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. This person could have a new girlfriend, a new boyfriend. Why is the Nine of Cups here? I feel like you really wanted to piss. You, I feel like you you wanted to get your lit back. I'm definitely seeing it. Like you wanted to get your lit back. So some y'all walked away. Y'all walked away. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Six of Swords, yep. Moving on. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. Y'all have moved on from the situation. You feel like you need to move on from the situation. You can find somebody better. For some of you, there is somebody who is married in this situation or there is a possible fire sign that could be coming in, King, King of Wands, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, who is going to give you a different perspective. But I'm seeing like uh, somebody being legally married or there's a marriage here. But after you leave a, situ a situation behind, somebody's separated. That's what it's saying here. Somebody could be separated. But there's a lot of arguments and fights. Somebody also feeling like somebody doesn't deserve them whole, all the way because of their situation that they are already in. So I'm feeling like there's a third party situation thing going on here. All right, so let's see what this person uh, intentions is towards my Gemini's. We got the Grim Reaper and Not Today. Yeah, I definitely do see some type of betrayal or some type of ending. Yep, and somebody moving on. We got both. Somebody's too self-indulgent, too focused on themselves, um, need some time to heal or do some shadow work or learn to appreciate themselves more. But I'm getting that there could definitely be some type of ending and someone saying like, mm, this person like, nah, not today, not today. Give me another card. Paradise. Okay. Happiness, expansion, joy, oneness, enjoying each other. Give me some, tell me, give me one more card. Well, we got mirror and girl with the snake. So y'all matching energies. That's what it looks like here. Like. You are holding a mirror up to this person. You're holding a mirror up to this person. Mirror and girl with the snake. And it's like we matching energies today. But this person like, I don't want to do that today. I ain't trying to, I'm not trying to do that today. But definitely this person feels like you're holding a mirror up to them. And you are doing them just exactly how they did you. All right, so we got the sword and rose. So some truth and clarity. This person may want to reach out to you to give some type of clarity or truth to the situation. Um, it looks like that is what's coming ahead. But right now, this person saying not today, though. 
You know, right now there's an ending. So not today. Right now they're trying to live their best life. They're trying not to focus on the situation. But they feel like you're holding a mirror up to them. Like it's like, yeah, they know you're going to feel like whatever you did to me, I'm going to do it to you. Have you coming at me, that's how I'm going to come at you. But this person is going to eventually reach out and try to get clarity, bring clarity to the situation, and bring some shed some light to the situation. Any other messages? Heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, perfect. And then we got passion here at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like this person is going to contact you, and they're going to want to lay up. Okay, they're going to want to have some sex. They're going to want to lay up. Okay, so that's the message that I got for my Geminis. I hope this message was helpful. And I will chat with you guys later. If you're new, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. And if this message resonated with you guys, be sure to comment below as well as share with your family and your friends. All right, until next time.